They gave us everything we asked for, you know, things that I've been talking to you guys about uh, last night and today, uh, you know, uh, effort, fight, connectivity. Um, and what I've been telling them is that, you know, you can't be having fun the way we're playing. So tonight there's a lot of smiles, a lot of joy, there's a lot of passion for for their teammates and their job. And so just that is... Uh, you know, something to build on. So I was proud of them for, for bringing it. Uh, we asked for it and they delivered, and that's, you know, uh, a great sign. I know this kind of goes without saying, but what will, how important will it be and what will be the key to bottling this up and carrying this on the road for this West Coast trip? Yeah, you know, it's something to build on. You know, you'd like to say, now we got to sustain it and the next game has got to be, you know, outstanding again. You know, it's inch by inch. You know, we got to step by step, just keep growing, keep getting better. Um, you know, be prepared for a tough trip out west. This is a great way to, a great getaway game for us to, to bring that type of mentality and toughness, um, you know, and, and, and just build on it. That's it. You know, you, you know, the NBA is not like that where you're like, now we, we got to play like this for the, for the last 40 games. You know, we know that's not how it works. It is something to build on. It's something that gave us a glimpse into what we're capable of when our approach is right, when we're connected, and when we fight. And, uh, you know, you can still lose games, but you can sleep at night when you give it that effort and energy and you, and you know that you're going to get better even if you lose. So um, that, was, that was the key thing. We got better tonight. We, we delivered with the energy and, uh, and the fight, and, and that's something to build on. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Steve, this is twofold. Just following up, um, you said having fun. I mean, did you, one, did you get the impression that this team might have been getting a little tight as these games were going on and the performances weren't what they expected? And uh, secondly, I'm just curious, whom, if anybody, was the most vocal in there in terms of the locker room guys about kind of getting the message across and echoing what you had been saying? I thought Jeff Green was uh, was great with the guys. Uh, he spoke after the last game. He spoke today when they made their run in the second half. Um, he, he's definitely been a, a voice of reason, I think, for us this year in, in the locker room. So he provides a, a lot um, with his experience and the respect he, he deserves. Um, yeah, it, you know, it's, uh, it's going to take uh, a lot of guys stepping up and and being the one that has to be the ignition on different nights. Um, sometimes with your voice, sometimes with your play, and I just think that uh, Jeff's voice was important. But the guys all stepped up and uh, and tried to ignite our performance, and that's what it's going to take. Because um, it's a collective energy, it's a collective commitment, and a willingness to go the extra mile. And um, you know, and I, and I thought DJ was fantastic tonight. Played a lot of minutes, did a great job on an all-star center. Um, and, uh, you know, that type of effort and, and performance was uh, pivotal for the win. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Steve, that's exactly uh, what I was going to ask about, because it looked like last night you had a conversation with DJ. Was there something that you said to him last night that maybe sparked that kind of effort, particularly in the first half? Well, you know, I, if I'm honest, you know, it was an emotional night last night. I think, you know, DJ and I got got upset at each other for a minute. I know that DJ got upset a few times during the game. So I'm proud of him because he bounced back with an incredible attitude, effort, and performance tonight. Um, you know, last night was tough on all of us. And for him to come back and, and be a veteran leader and presence with that type of effort and energy in, in, a, in an extended minutes against a, an all-star center was uh, outstanding. Bruce Beck with NBC New York. Steve, you've thrown a lot of stuff at us the last couple of days, connectivity, personal pride, attitude, togetherness, competitive spirit, but does it really all boil down to bringing it? Is that, is that, is that the big message? Yeah, I mean, all those things, uh, you know, are, are kind of um, connected in some way, right? The, so it's our approach, you know, you can whatever uh, thesaurus we want to pull out and, uh, and take advantage of, uh, by all means. But you're right, um, you know, however you want to word it, it's just having the right approach, attitude, and, and competing. And, 
you know, there's layers to that, of course, but it is fairly simple as well. And so I thought tonight they were outstanding with their approach. And, uh, and you could tell from the start they were locked in. And when they are locked in, you see what they're capable of. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Coach. I mean, I guess these questions are kind of all on the same vein, but only 104 points for you guys tonight. Jeff Green shoot 3 of 11. Uh, James shoots 4 of 13. Kyrie 2 of 6 from the field. You guys still pull out the win. Is this just more proof? You know, uh, adding to the proof that even if you guys aren't as sharp as you can be offensively, it's the defense that's going to pull through in the end. I wouldn't get carried away, Christian, but uh, if we could, we, you know, we'd love to continue to build our defense and and be able to win games with our defense at times. Um, I think we're a ways from that, but hopefully that that is a place we can get to at some point. Um, you know, tonight I think part of our offensive woes was just the second half. You know, the, it, that's tough sometimes when you have a big lead. The other team's playing free because they think the night's over, the game's lost, and so they're kind of desperate and and have the freedom because they have nothing to lose. You know, so that can be difficult. Uh, they played, you know, hard and 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 loose, and and we we, did, we I think we were trying to manage a lead instead of extending a lead, which is natural, and I think that happens in our in our game. So. I thought the offense was pretty good in the first half, and uh, in the second half, it was a matter of dealing with, um, you know, the, the the state of the game, or the, you know, what, what what was what was occurring in the game, and that was them having to to race back and nothing to lose. So, but you're right, our defense was uh, the star of the game, and I think that just proves that we're capable. But um, you know, every team poses a different challenge. Every night has a different bounce, and uh, tonight, though, we did our job. And last question, Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Steve, it, it feels longer than this, but it was four weeks ago today you guys traded for James, and, and you had said early on about how he's still getting himself back into shape. Just in the near month that you've had him, I so just how, how much progress has he made in that department to you? I, I, I think there's definite progress. You know, um, he plays a lot of minutes and um, does a lot of things for us. So I, I'd say, you know, he's Sorry, definitely... Coach, I think we accidentally unmuted you there. Uh, let me... Uh... Sorry, um, got me now. Yep, yeah. got you now. Thank okay. you. No problem. Um, I, you know, I, I think he's in, in much better shape than when he got here. I think he could probably get in, in better condition as the season goes as well. Um, what did we say? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's funny. Four weeks already. I think Kevin and Kai and James have played five and a half games if you include the Raptors game together. So it's it's kind of astonishing in one respect to have him for a month basically, and then they've only played five games together. If I'm right, so um, or five and a half, six games. So uh, lots of time, but but we got to get going here and hopefully get all three of them on the court and our complete roster uh, for the time being going and uh, try to build and and continually improve, even if it's small small margins, small improvements. Uh, regardless of our record, if we keep getting better, I think we got a chance to be a special team.